Okay, let's take a look at how uh, a multiplexer is, uh, how it functions. So a multiplexer is a modular device that takes multiple data line inputs and selects one of them to be the output. So there are a number of standard configurations for multiplexers. A very common one is the 4 to 1 multiplexer. Another one might be the 8 to 1, an 8 to 1 multiplexer. 4 to 1 would have 4 input lines, 4 independent data streams, if you will, and a single output line. And the only way that you would be able to um, select one of four different combinations is to have two select line inputs, right? Because two select line inputs will give us four possible combinations uh, of logic. So I could have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Okay, so this will be my most significant binary uh, and then my least significant binary here. And let's look at how that works uh, sort of blow this thing up and see what it looks like inside so we can understand how it works a little bit better. Oops, I'm going to leave the end off because um, the device will be a little bit bigger. So for each data line input there will be an AND gate. Remember that AND gates only output law, uh, true statement if all of the inputs are outputting, are inputting a true statement. So each data line will be hooked up to one AND gate. And then what we want to do is make only one of these AND gates work at a time. And we're going to do that by using the select lines. Each select line will have a NOT gate. And so it will run. Uh, it'll be it'll be wired up like this. Now, uh, to make this work logically, I want to select data line zero by using a select line logic of zero. I want to select data line two or data line one by using a select logic of one data line 2 by using select logic of 2, um, so on and so forth. So in order to make this gate output a true statement, I want to use select, I want to have the select line set to 0, 0, but I want to have a 1 out, all of them inputting a 1, which means that the first two need to be knotted. So we'll run not gates up to them. And the second line of logic, D1, that would be 0, 1, means that I want the first gate is going to be set to 0, but it needs to be a 1 up here. So I need to use a NOT gate for that. And the second one is a 1, so we'll actually run it directly up to. Just put a node on there so you can see that. <clears throat> For data line, uh, to select data line 2, we want to have select line logic of 1, 0. So I want select line 1 to just go feed directly in to this select line, into this uh, AND gate. And then I want to use the NOT of select line 0 because it's set to 0 and I want it not it so that it inputs a one. Okay, and then the final gate uh, to select data line three, we would have logic one for both of the select lines. So we'll just run those <clears throat> directly in like that. <clears throat> and so you can see then that uh, only one of these AND gates will be turned on at a time. 
when I su set sw the switching logic or the selecting logic to 0, 0, these three gates here are have a zero in them and so they won't out they're going to output a false this will be the only gate that runs when i set select line um this both the select lines to equal uh zero one then only data line two will be outputting its data now the way that we'll tie all these gates together is simply by using an or gate and the OR gate will work if, as long as one of the statements is true, the OR gate will work. And so that will then be the output of the multiplexer. Okay, so that's what the multiplexer sort of looks like um, inside. Uh, in the next video, we'll examine why do we have a multiplexer and what can we do with it.